Association for Agriculture in the Classroom to talk about December's Taste and Teach Commodity of the Month, which is citrus. And I kind of like to say, tis the season for citrus because it fits in nicely with the holiday season. So um, in the past, there's so many things that you can do with citrus. Um, if you go back and look on our Facebook Live videos, we have made an all natural cleaner using citrus. And last year we made ornaments for your Christmas tree using dried citrus. So this year we're gonna do something a little bit different and we're gonna try and calculate the density of, a, of citrus. We're gonna use a lemon and a cutie. But there are so many different things that you can do. Um, I hope that you guys find inspiration in your Taste and Teach Finder. This is always a good reference, full of resources that you can use throughout the month. And um, lots of fun facts. Just for instance, one of my favorites is that, did you know that the navel orange, which is this right here, got its name because the end of it looks, resembles a belly button or a navel. So um, as you can kind of see from this basket, there are all kinds of different varieties of citrus. They come in all different sizes and colors. So we have grapefruits, which are typically a little bit more pink and they're definitely pink on the inside if you were to cut one open. Navel orange, which we already talked about, um, cuties, and then we have Meyer lemons with us today. So um, they're the perfect commodity for citrus or for December. They're available. Um, all kinds of different varieties are easily accessible in your grocery store. I got all of these last night. So let's um, go ahead and figure out how we're going to calculate the density of citrus. Um, so this activity comes from our farms to you, Fresno Farms to You newsletter. This is a partnership that we have with Fresno Unified School District. And each month we release a newsletter about that commodity. We are adding grower videos this year and then we also have a beautiful poster that complements each commodity and with all kinds of fun facts and you can learn about the commodities anatomy and they also have a fun joke which is my favorite part of the poster. But um, focusing kind of back on the newsletter, each one includes a play with your food section, a classroom connection, and then a virtual field trip and more. So the play with your food is you can make a hungry caterpillar using lemons. And then we have the classroom connection, which is the sink or float challenge, which we're gonna do today. And then on the back, it has a virtual field trip and books and websites and different resources that you can extend the learning even further into your classroom. So let's, get, let's dive into our activity. So the first thing that we're gonna do is talk about what is density. Well, objects that are more dense than water sink and objects that are less dense than water float. So let's go ahead and try this with a cutie and a lemon. I'm doing these two because our beakers are kind of small. If you have bigger containers of water, you can test different varieties of citrus to see if that changes. But the first step is have students draw the citrus varieties that they pick and then predict what they think will happen. So we'll go ahead and put our lemon in and it rises pretty quickly to the top. And then we'll put the cutie in and it's also floating. So we can see in this case, both the cutie and the lemon are less dense than water, so they float. Well, now that we know that, how do we calculate what their density is? Well, we do that by finding its mass and also its displaced volume. So let's go ahead and do that with lemons. You would have students do it with both, but um, we're just gonna demonstrate it with one. So to find its displaced volume, we're gonna use the same beaker of water and look at what, we're gonna record what our starting water is in milliliters. So it's at 150 milliliters. Then we'll take our lemon and we'll put it in. Then I'm gonna move my hand so you can see the number. And we're gonna use a pencil and hold it down. And we see that the water rises to just about 250 milliliters. So on our worksheet, we'll go ahead and fill that out for the displaced volume. So the variety is a lemon. The starting volume is 150 milliliters. The ending volume is 250 milliliters. So the displaced volume is 100 centimeters cubed. And so you would have students fill it out just like this on their worksheet. So now how do we calculate the mass? Well, we're gonna use the mass. We need to determine its grams. So we're gonna use a balance with um, gram weights to find out how much the lemon weighs. So we'll take the lemon out of the beaker and we'll put that down and then we'll go ahead and put our lemon in the balance, which obviously it's gonna be very heavy. So we have one gram weights, two gram weights, five gram weights, 10 gram weights, 20 gram weights, and 50 gram weights. So I always like to start with a heavy one. So let's see what the 50 gram weight does. Doesn't even move it. So let's try two 50 gram weights. That one's a little bit too heavy. Okay, so we know it's somewhere between 50 grams and 100 grams. So let's go ahead and try the 20. Didn't move it much. What about a 10? Okay, we're moving it a little bit. 
So let's try like five more grams. Closer, what about two grams? Perfect, so if we add up the grams that we have in our scale, you can see we have the 50, the 20, the 10, the five, and the two. So if we add all that up, it equals 77 grams. So we'll write that on the mass sheet. So we have now, we have that the mass of our lemon is 77 grams. The displaced volume is 100 centimeters cubed. So how do we calculate the density? Well, you calculate the density using the formula. Density is mass divided by volume. So if we take our mass, which is 77 grams, divided by our volume, which is 100 centimeters cubed, our density is 0.77 grams per centimeter cubed. And you would have students write it right there. So um, we can read this line right here. Water has a density of one gram per centimeter cubed. Objects will float in water if their density is less than one gram per centimeter cubed, which is what we just found out here. So um, you can have students do this with two different ones and see what happens. Um, and we thank you for sharing your December Taste and Teach commodity with us and hope that you'll share videos and pictures of your students tasting citrus this month. Thank you so much.